So in this quick tip, I'm showing how to use uh, these two components and we'll be creating a structure that's called the Voronoi pattern and we'll be kind of creating some results like this. So I'm going to jump right in and uh, hopefully you enjoy and learn something from this tutorial. Okay, so what we need first is a base surface. So I'm going to go in here in Rhino and type in plane and create a plane of any size and just leave it there. Then I can do a cage edit with boundary box world and all of the defaults and I can just pull these points up with the gumball and kind of use the scale to make them wider and kind of increase this this way so we can create some interesting geometry to bring into grasshopper and I'll move that over here just to um, be able to show it so that's the surface we're going to be developing and so let's bring it in here with a surface we'll do that set one surface set one surface and then here now we have that brought into I put these by accident uh, we brought that into grasshopper and now what we have to do is uh, project some points onto there so to do that we actually have to get the edges so we'll get the b-rep edges and we'll project them so when you do the projection you're going to want to use this one project to the ground so we'll project the naked edges to the ground and now we can create a boundary surface so we can create a boundary surface to create basically the outline of the projection of the structure above and so that one we can bring in this populate 2d that's under vector or populate 3d under vector and we can plug that in there and we see that we have all of these points created down here now we can adjust those by saying 1 to uh, 200 and in that way we can see that now we only have one point or we can have 200 points um, and we can also do a slider of 1 to 10 to show uh, seeds would be kind of um, a new solution a new randomized solution so that way you can adjust your pattern just by using the slider so there we have this and now what we want to do is project onto back onto the surface that we have here um, actually it's this original surface so we have that we have uh, actually it's not going to be project curve it's going to be project point so it's going to be project point plug in the points here the direction is going to be in the z direction we want to project up and the geometry that we want to project onto is going to be that original surface we'll bring that in there now we can go ahead and actually hide everything and see that we have that set of points that we can adjust here with lowering the density or we can also randomize the pattern. So now that we have these points, we can actually bring in the next component that's going to create the Voronoi structure, which is under mesh, triangulation, Voronoi 3D. What that does is actually take all these points and create this Voronoi box around that surface and actually it's doing it around um, some other points over there but that doesn't really matter and you'll see why. Now we have now that we have that we can do an intersection and you'll see the in the interesting results we can get. So we go to intersect tab here and we go to physical and BRF with BRF and now we can take those cells and when they intersect with the original surface then we'll have a result of a Voronoi uh, type of structure that we have above. So let me show you when I hide this what it looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Uh, we have those edges there and actually if we bring back the um, B-Rep edges, we see that we can actually create the outside. But as you can see, we have some conflicts here. Uh, with kind of this weird line going here and we also have some clips down here So the way to fix that is if we go to preview that we see that The Borno is clipping exactly where the top of the structure is. So what we want to do is create a um, a box That surrounds the entire original structure In that box We can do area to get the centroid so we get the exact center point of that and then we can do a scale 
with the center there and then plug this here and we can do a factor of 1.5 to increase the size and now the reason why I do that is because here we have an option to put in a box and so we'll actually use that box as the bounding area of the Moronoi and that'll give us a way better result. I'll just give you an idea of that's the, the result of that perfect structure and so um, that's a way that you can create some cool Voronoi pattern structures just by um, you know intersecting those two components and getting some interesting random results so to make it easier on my computer to do the next step I'm gonna actually go to make this a 50 to see you know a low density type of structure here and I'm gonna go here and type in pipe which I can actually plug into the curve here and the reason why I lowered the amount of them is because there's actually two lines here um, in in every segment there's two because each this is one cell and this is one cell so there's two intersecting lines here but regardless you can um, actually explode these curves and make it a little bit easier on the calculation there and then we can also bring in the we could, all, we could even do a different one here with just the edges and we can give this let's see a 2.5 inch radius and we can give this a 1.5 inch radius and there we have a cool little Voronoi structure that we can now uh, bake and we can take a look at here so there we have it it's a Voronoi structure and then we can do cell duplicates to select the duplicate the duplicate ones I mean of course there's gonna be duplicate one in every single one of these um, but you know we do have a pretty cool structure that we created fairly quickly uh, with some fairly straightforward steps so I'm gonna show in a time-lapse how I came up with this design but uh, here's basically what I did I took a centroid where that initial surface was that that projected surface and that was gonna be the point in which I was gonna scale these lines so these are the original lines that were projected up and created with that intersection and so we have those at a scale of one and then those are going to be scaled also so those same lines are going to be scaled but instead of scaling it at one that's going to be at one uh, at 1.1 1 .1. you know it starts at 1.1 .1 and it can increase in scale and so that's what i did here that shows that i basically offset the the pattern from that center point and ultimately if i hide this here and this we see that our final result is going to be a cool uh you know more noise structure that we can adjust the thickness outside and we can even go here and play around with the pattern uh let's say let's give it a pattern of 100 and we'll see this adjust accordingly and so Pretty useful pattern. Uh, I remember using uh, the Voronoi pattern when I was in school and it would impress some people but nowadays a lot of people are using it but I don't know if they're using it in this way so uh, hopefully you're able to impress your friends or impl impress the people that you work with using some of these um, tricks and I'll make sure to add all of this to the description for you to download for free so um, if uh, if you want you can go ahead and you know play around with some of this stuff.